So let's start photo editing. So I'm gonna be doing this on two different uh, programs, one on my mobile device and one on my desktop computer. On my mobile device, I'm gonna be using Snapseed, which is a free app by Google. So it doesn't have any ads and it's a pretty functional free program. Uh, for my desktop, I'll be using GIMP, which is also a free program and works a lot like Photoshop. So you should be able to choose one of the two of those to get started on your meme or photo montage collage project. So in Snapseed, go ahead and uh, click start. So open from device and then I'm gonna go to my photos and choose this photo of Jupiter that I found from the NASA Media, NASA Media Gallery. So from here, I'll add some filters and add some effects. These are all about personal preference. You should just go through and play around with the different settings to see what each one does. There are several auto correction tools, which you may or may not appreciate. <laughs> and there are plenty of filters that should give your photos unique uh, uh, hue and saturation uh, values. You can also change your image into single color. I think I'm going to go with like one of these blue tones. And I would just really encourage you to destroy your images. <laughs> so here in the export menu, you can save your image, which will replace the original image in your photo stream with this image that you're editing. So I do not recommend you doing that. I recommend you save a copy and that will just save this image as its own new file in your uh, photos. That way you'll ha still have the original image if you ever want to go back and make a different image with it. So from here, I'll use a tool that's called the double exposure. And so what double exposure means, or what it originally meant, was back in the days of film, you would have the film in your camera, so your image would be imprinted on the film when the film was exposed to light. If the film doesn't advance and another image gets imprinted or exposed onto that same slice of film, you'll create what's called a double exposure. You can create the same effect digitally by layering uh, two images with varying opacity on top of each other. So that's what we're going to do here. So this double exposure tool and this one I'm going to add this paper mache Millennium Falcon that my mom made. So I'm going to add that in here. I'm going to go to this little eye dro the little droplet symbol and move it all the way fully uh, exposed and then I'm going to shrink it a little bit fully f fully uh, visible. From here I'm going to click done so I'll go to this little a uh, symbol in the upper right that has two layered squares with a arrow pointing left. Looks like an undo button, and it is in fact an undo button, but under that you should see an option that says view edits. And you'll see a little uh, left facing arrow on the uppermost layer, and if you press the middle s symbol with the paintbrush on it, this will allow you to paint in the effect, which is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to start painting here and you should see your top image start to appear on the one on the the image that you have as your background or the one you started with. So <clears throat> down at the bottom here you should see 100% exposure so that means whatever I'm painting is going to be 100% exposed. You should be able to see it 100% if I want to take away any of that top image, I turn this down to zero. The further you zoom in, the more uh, detail you're able to achieve. So the, the smaller your brush becomes. And so I'll just erase some of this that's closer to the edges of the falcon here. So the next thing I'm going to do with my image is use the healing tool. And the healing tool should be able to very easily take away this string. So that looks about good. 
I'm going to do this one more time. So I'm going to add another, another double exposure, add an image, and I want this funny looking selfie of me. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up and move it somewhere about there. Done. So now again, the next step is to go up to the little squares with the left arrow and go to view edits. And then up at the top, uh, bring up that little menu to the left and press on the uh, paintbrush on the canvas. And then just start painting in where you want your image to appear. Just like that. And remember the closer in you are to the image, the more zoomed in you are, the more detail your brush has. Okay. <laughs> well, let's add some more filters. Ooh, I like that filter. Drama. Drama. Let's do it. Let's add some more. More filters. Glamour. It's glamour glow. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do it. This is looking cinemagraphic. Grunge. Oh. I don't know about grunge. Maybe, I guess. Sure, why not? Let's do some grunge. Okay, well, I'm going to call that finished for this one. From here, I'm going to go export. I'm going to go back to save a copy. And that'll just save all my edits as a new file. So I'm not overwriting anything. And then I'm going to export. And exporting means you're kind of like printing your final image. You're finishing. It's, it's turning into a JPEG rather than... Um, say you're working in Photoshop or, or, or GIMP, it's no longer a working file, it's a finished file when you export. And you should see it come up in your photos right there. I look forward to seeing what you guys make, and I will make another video for the users who will be using uh, their desktop uh, computers to create their images with programs like GIMP or Photoshop. So. Stick around for that video and I'll show you how to do that.